Hello, Actor Sage here on the Sage channel. It is Sleep, Art, Game, and Eat. And today we're taking a look at this little ship, which isn't actually that little, but it's not exactly that big either, which I'm calling the Caterpillar, because it sort of looks a bit caterpillary in its shape. Now, its shape actually comes from the idea that I originally wanted to make a rather larger ship that its main purpose was to attack things. So I came up with this idea that maybe these would stick out, you'd have a turret on it, and then it would, of course, drop down, you'd have another turret, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, all these turrets can actually fire directly straight forward. But after I did that, I realized, well, we can just make something a bit smaller. I can just connect these all together, loop them up, and do the same on the top, and we end up with a bombardment ship, which is basically what this is, where it would attack stations or other really large, slow-moving ships. And all around, I'm pretty happy with it. It itself is pretty slow-moving, so it couldn't exactly be chasing after anything too quickly, but I think a ship like this would have its own uses for just attacking stations and other slower-moving things. Anyway... You might be asking yourself, what is this thing over here? This is actually the original design I had for it. Now I'm going to, instead of flying through it, I'm just really quickly going to cut it open, and you'll start seeing what was inside of it. And as I cut through it, you'll notice those gray blocks there, of course, are engines. And this is, of course, my original design was to have all the engines inside facing one another. But what I found is, even though I have so many little engines in here, they were all still quite slow. And I'm having some issues here. And you see, I actually had two reactors, another one right there. But even with the reactors, with all these engines, the ship was too slow to really seem like it was of use. I didn't even bother put gy putting gyroscopes in it, so that was just a scrapped ship, basically. But then I said, okay, let's copy it. Let's, you know, make sure we have throw some big engines in there. And of course, big, big engines are so big, I could not put them on the inside as I usually do. And I don't actually mind too much. I'll actually go inside, and you can see some of the setup in there. Because... It allowed it to move quick, and for this one, it actually looks pretty nice. Now, you might not, or you might notice here, is I don't actually have an airlock. I just have the doors. That's because this is an attack ship, as I basically said, a bombardment ship. So, the inside would always be depressurized. The ship would stay docked at a station or next to another larger ship, and people would just take crew shifts. And this ship would simply only attack when it needs to. So, which means the crew would only board it when they need to. Now, flying up here into one of these passages, you can see we have two reactors and nine gyroscopes. This is mirrored going down the other side of the ship, the back side of the ship, oops, which goes down that way. So, I'm not going to bother showing you that. What I will do right now is get out of this. You can see we also do not have any artificial gravity. Hop into this, and there you go. Now, you can see all of its stats and everything. It's pretty nice, pretty decent. Now, I'll start accelerating. You can see all the engines on the outside. I haven't had a ship with proper engines on the outside in so long. It's... Actually, kind of nice to see them all, and I'm thinking maybe I'll try to work that in more. Even though I have a feeling a lot of my ships, I don't like having just engines tossed about in huge clumps. So I'll either have to get very clever, which is probably a good thing, or I'll just end up with a few on the outside for looks and a lot on the inside. And you can see here, we're not accelerating that quickly, but we are turning pretty quickly. The ship does maneuver relatively well, and I'm actually overall pretty happy with it. I'm really looking forward to them activating these weapons in the main game. So we can actually use these and test them out. And so I can test out this idea and some others that I've had to see how well they actually work. Anyway, I just wanted to show off this ship really quickly. It's pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Ooh, and I'll see you guys next time.